I'm walking to the beach right now and uh, I wanted to share something with you guys. I just had another, how do you call that, epiphany? Like, what I'm trying to do is I've tried to build the attention store. You, you probably have seen a few videos coming around already. And what I tried to do with that, I tried to help young entrepreneurs or, or, or older entrepreneurs, doesn't really matter, to evolve, to learn how to use digital, uh, to market themselves, to truly discover what is Facebook marketing. Uh, how do we think about our brand? How do we build our product? How do we expand and scale on our product? And why am I doing all this? Because I want to build Lilita. And before I can build Lilita, I need to get an income so I can hire a team, build a company that people can actually uh, get paid for. Oh, there my dog goes. Where people can actually get paid for the work they're doing while doing something good for the world. Because volunteers are fun, but volunteers, they need money as well to live. They need to have a life, nice lifestyle as well. So i rather employ them than just hire them as a volunteer. Also, it works easier for me, I guess, because for me, I really like to raise my um, expectations. And when I work with volunteers, they never meet my expectations. So I'm not really happy working with them. And it has nothing to do with them. Uh, they only get to spend an hour a week, two hours a week on something that I would like them to spend 40, 50, 60 hours a week on. So, yeah, that's the company ID. So that's why I'm doing all this business now. But then I was like, okay, I have to do that from regular people. Because the more people I can reach, the better. And then today I was like, hey, why don't I start a community of vegans? Why don't I start a, a community of people who are vegan, who are interested in being vegan, who are interested in building or helping and create solutions for vegans. So I was like, okay, why not start the vegan entrepreneur community? So I checked on Facebook, it doesn't exist yet. I checked my own domain and I, b I bought it, the vegan entrepreneur community, no, the vegan entrepreneur.co and .net. And uh, I start driving people through there. People who are either uh, passionate about veganism and would like to make money with veganism, so they can be compassionate and live their lives doing what they love the whole day, every day. Or perhaps it's people who are YouTubers, Instagrammers, want to learn how to monetize, to increase their business, make it better, uh, etc. Or perhaps it's a physical brand that has a product, uh, something with food, uh, I'm going to talk with a vegetarian snack bar here in Holland already to help them scale and grow their community. So what I'm doing is that there's a lot of kids there uh, looking at me vlogging. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going to help these people to learn how to monetize their passion because that's what I've been doing for the last, I know, my whole life actually. So, uh, and... I think I'm a really good teacher. I'm listening a lot to people. Uh, I think my ability to communicate, uh, well, you can see in my street interviews. So why do I want to start this community with everybody if I could do it with vegans? Or people who want to help and create a better vegan, more vegan friendly world. So I'm super, super stoked by that. Uh, right now I'm going to the beach gonna record this movie that I want to use that I want to take and um, yeah then start making that campaign launch it uh, I should have it done by tomorrow or something oh wait you want to say hi hi, hi. <laughs> say hi hi nee hoor ik ben Nederlands maar ik praat in Engels so that's so funny when you walk on the street everybody's like looking at you so you know you can either not say anything or just embrace it and let them say hi and they're a bit confused about what's happening then to them you know like hey, is he English is he Dutch whatever anyway back on topic because I'm just I just keep on talking and keep on rambling to you guys um, so what I'm gonna offer is I'm gonna offer people with a free hour of uh, coaching training whatever you want to name it strategy advice what they could potentially do and how they could potentially make money out of it. That's the goal. Like, we're gonna talk about that. Even if you have a business, how could you scale it? There's a big, big fit, uh, vegan fitness YouTuber that I'm talking to right now. 
and uh, perhaps we're going to work together as well. And I'm going to help him scale his business. I'm really confident uh, we can do a lot because, in my opinion, he has a great product, but is not really uh, yeah selling it properly, basically. And neither does he have the yeah the system in place to scale it. And I think I'm going to help him a lot from there. So that's basically how all these things came together. And the adventure store, I kind of funnel for me to get in touch with big entrepreneurs or big upcoming entrepreneurs uh, people who just want to be part of an entrepreneurial community because if I can have influence over a big community that's not vegan I'm sure I can impact them uh, big time if I can be their role model, uh, I can be their inspiration and if I'm or even the idea of not wearing wool or leather. Uh, well, not buying it. Because that's another topic that I think is really important to talk about. Is like the wearing of leather and wool when you already have it. What do you think about that? Because I've got this really I've got this really nice coat. It's made out of wool. I bought it five years ago, six years ago. It was really expensive never thought about it and I don't see a reason to sell it even though it's wool because for me it's not the same like I had a leather jacket which I have no idea why I bought that if I think about it now but I sold it the day I went vegan I sold it like I gave it away I didn't even sell it I just gave it away to some poor people who really needed it more than I did because I just didn't want to wear the dead skin of an animal but wool is different to me, I don't know why. And uh, like my old shoes, I still have some leather shoes. I keep using them. And uh, I think that's also what I really try to, I, I'm gonna stay here because there's the sea and the wind is. So yeah, final thing that I'm shutting off. Um, what I'm really, uh, damn now I forgot what I wanted to talk about. The leather shoes, yeah, I still have a few leather shoes. And uh, what I'm really big on uh, while I'm talking to people about veganism is like, just wear the stuff you wear. Like, don't be, don't be, Lil, wait even. My dog wants to go to the beach. Don't wait, if I, don't throw them all away. It gets too expensive. The step to go through gets bigger. Use your stuff. I mean, ethically speaking, it's a waste if you don't use the stuff that you have. I mean, you could give it away course but it's the same if you let somebody else use it and you approve of that you can use it yourself as well so to me I just keep my stuff I've got a few wool sweaters leather for me I, I don't feel comfortable wearing leather on my skin on my feet uh, yeah for now I didn't find good solutions plus I don't want to spend a shitload of money on new shoes again and I'm just gonna use mine uh, yeah until they're done I don't see any reason but I'm really interested in your opinion and what do you think about that? Uh, like I said in the previous vlog, I think this is the way I'm gonna start doing stuff on this channel because I like it more. I like to just sometimes talk to you guys uh, when I think I have something to say or when I want to share something and get it out. But I'm not gonna create stuff for this channel. Uh, so I sent out an email, another update, to a vegan festival in Holland, the biggest vegan festival. They probably want me to team up with them and do some interviews. Uh, we didn't have any concrete deals or whatever, but uh, I would do it for free. So I don't see why they wouldn't go through with that. So yeah, that would be really cool on a non-vegan festival, but vegan like inspired-ish. So I think that's, that's pretty fun. And then I wanted to become a public speaker on their biggest festival this year. So I hope they're uh, going to allow me. I'm gonna send them an email again with my new project actually that I just came up with today and uh, yeah then we'll see anyway for now that's it we're gonna go to the beach Lil we're ready to go to the beach okay bye <laughs>